Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Kanakin. Uh, it's bam, 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 bam. Alright, so guys, last episode, we uh, we lost to the Winnipeg Jets in the uh, Western Conference Finals. And uh, we ended up going over to the draft. Um, we talked about uh, some trades and possibilities. So what I'm thinking, if we go to view draft class, um, I'm thinking... I want to make a huge splash in trades and trade up to get Devin Barnett second overall. I know it's going to be a lot to get, but for um, Jesse Pugliarvi, I think it'd be a good return. Um, so I'm 100% committed to training or trading, sorry, Jesse Pugliarvi. I just don't think I have him in another uh, franchise mode offline, and I haven't seen him get up to even an 84, and I'm in year six or seven so i don't want to i know i'm going to be bailing on him that right now but i just think that we would be better off going with a sniper so that maybe mcdavid uh has a uh sniper for his career i know i'm probably going on and on about weird things and uh talking out of nonsense but like i said uh another more early work shift guys i'm very tired still so i'm trying to grind this one out for you guys so with Barnett though, he is a uh, compared to Timo Solani, so that is perfect. That's one guy I've always seen. Guys who are compared to Timo Solani always develop well. Um, the other player I want to go after, uh, I'll be trading a second, trying to get a second would be Vitaly Kavanov. Uh, not 100% accurate on his stats and all that, but it is he is listed as a gem, so that'd be one possibility. If not, I'd like to go get a second round pick, and I'd like to get that goaltender we found. What's his name? Uh, there he is, Matthias Raquel. Uh, he's like he said, gem 83, so that's around the second, third round or so. Um, he's going to be his potential as a starter. Um, his stats are not the greatest. Um, 897 save percentage and a 3.13 goals against average, and only three wins in eight games. I don't understand how the SHL and all that works. Um, but he has a lot of weaknesses. But I want to take a risk on him. Um, so that's the third round. So the players we are going to try and move at this draft, and I know it's going to be big, and you're going to be like, well, you went to the third round. What are you doing? Bit of a retool. So Jesse Pugliarvi, he is extended for the one year just so he has tr I can trade him, and people aren't always well, like not sign. Um, so I'm going to have him uh, possibly try and get rid of Chris Frost's contract. Uh, two more years of $4 million, not what I want. Adam Larson, like I just selected, he's one I would like to try and move, which would be for the second. Um, he's got three more or two more years after the draft, or starting next year at 4.1, and they completely lost that trade when they traded Taylor Hall for him. And I would try and see if I could put Sakara with the Pooley RV deal, uh, two more years at 5.5. Um, I'm planning on going for a couple of defensemen when we come to uh, free agency. Um, I was considering moving to Bouchard, but of course, I think what's the point? He is part of the future. Um, if Sakara does not work, though, I would not be opposed to trading Jason Demers. Um, he was a big salary cap wise downfall from Lucic, which was great, but he only had a couple points, not that many points, as you see there with us. So it's all about retooling this, this fine line of defense and getting some better forwards um, as well. Goaltenders, we're going to make a try and see if we can get a goaltender come free agency. Um, so we're going to start the draft here. So Vancouver is a second round pick. That is a lot to ask for from uh, us because that is a division rival. And that is a big rival for us. But I am willing to take that on because they already have Brock Besser on the for, uh, for the future as a goal scorer. So uh, Barnett would not make sense to have a left and a right wing, in my opinion. So we're going to put Jesse Pugliarvi in right there. I think we have a lot of trade, more trade value than this second round pick. So maybe we can get away with this, adding a pick. Let's just take a look. And I might try and throw... We could get a third. We could try to put a third. And I'm going to throw on a contract, one of those defenseman contracts. I'm going to try and put uh, Sakara in on this, guys. I'm just going to see if this can go. Uh, if I could have 45 skaters. Uh, if I throw a defenseman in there just so we can make it even. Um, they want to get rid of Biega. It's fine. 
Um, and this doesn't sound realistic, but giving up a uh, guy that was drafted fourth overall on Yessi Pool the RV struggled very much this year. Um, Andre Sakara, which is just a bad contract. We're bringing back a third, like we can get that goaltender, uh, Pieg, just so we can even it out, and a first round as a second row pick this year. Let's see if this can go through, guys. No, rejected. Um, what happens if we get rid of third that? And I want to see if I can do one thing with the Chris Russell dealing, putting him in as a part of the deal, bringing back Biega back just so I can get rid of a contract. Um, so Vancouver's got a lot of cap space. They've got almost $13 million to spend. Um, so let's try that. Uh, once again, I said we had more when it comes to Pooley RV. So let's see if we can get uh, second overall pick. Let's see what we can do. Trade rejected, of course. <sighs> Of course, so what happens if I do straight up? Because I have a lot more trade value than theirs. Uh, let's see, trade rejected. <sighs> of course, trade rejected. Um, so, I don't think there's many other options I have for the likes of trades, unless it was, let's, I know I'm wasting a lot, guys, for this, but Tyler Benson, um, not really familiar with him. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'll be honest. I'm gonna try this one. Um, I know they have to bring a player. We have to bring a player back. Um, let's try and see if I can get someone. No, not around that. Uh, Jet will be great. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Zach McEwen. Just bringing someone back to try and sweeten this deal. So they're gonna get Tyler Benson, uh, Jesse Pooley Army. We get a second overall pick and McEwen back. Will this work? No, trade rejected. All right. So clearly Vancouver does not want to part ways with that pick. So we are gonna have to suck it up, I guess. Um, try to make it as realistic as possible. Um, there's no way they want uh, to give up the. Second round overall pick for Jesse Pulley That's fine. We're gonna still try and move Jesse Pulley uh, um for anything at this point. Not crazy though, but like try and get a first liner to play with McDavid because that's all I want when it comes to this franchise right away is to have McDavid, that bona fide winger. I know Dreisaitl plays with him in real life and just play with him in real life, but I want to get a sniper on this team because I just want to see what could happen because endless possibilities and Connor McDavid is probably the best hockey player in the league in my opinion um, he's also a bit he's only three weeks older than me so it's cool like that um, so we're going to watch them take this pick and we are going to think of a move I could make um, of course I need to try and get a second so why don't we try and get a second right now guys um, so why don't we try and get Let's try and get the seventh. I think that'd be it's a little bit up there than what they are originally having for trade for, for his uh, Yamamoto, not Yamamoto, but the Russians sniper. So we're gonna try and move Larson on this one. We have a lot more value, so I'm gonna see if I can throw in a third and maybe that can help us out quicker. Um, I'm gonna try a third. This may not seem too realistic, but we're gonna see if that would work, guys. Trade accepted, perfect. We have draft picks. Um, um, so we have those picks now. We're gonna try and get someone, but let's see if Jesse Pugliarvi is. Let's see if anybody offers a trade for Jesse Pugliarvi. So Barnett, we're gonna keep close in years to come. Just see how he becomes, because that obviously right there was one we lost out on, which sucks the most. Um, I was really hoping we could get uh, someone f or a young guy like that for this first line. Um, so nothing happening so far. Let's take a look what happens when we go straight to our pick. Um, no offers. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to see that. So we come to our pick. Um, Nolan Foot. Uh, that'd be perfect, actually. But they have the Derek Hillen guy. He is the sniper. That is what I want. Compared to Theo Fleury, we do have a pinned. But there is Nightingale, but he has dropped. I have looked a lot, especially in offline modes, how far up they got, these guys move. Um, I know I've never seen Josh Williams do uh, much. So I'm torn between Nolan Foote, who is compared to Mark Messier, great leader. Um, or there's this Derek Kill Hillen guy. 
what I'm thinking actually. I'm thinking outside my head. I think I'm going to take foot on this one because we're going for that Russian sniper in the second round, so that is the right wing. So in my perfect world, that would be a power four, which I'm assuming foot is. I don't assume he's a grinder. Um, playmaker McDavid and the sniper. So we're going to take Nolan foot here, guys, with our first round selection. Um, so uh, his brother Cal, I believe it is his name, plays for... Um, Jeez, I can't think. Tampa Bay. So we are going to welcome him to the NHL and his father, Adam Foote, of course, uh, Hall of Fame defenseman. Uh, now the GM of the Los Angeles Kings, I remember, if he has not been fired. Uh, so we're going to move up here and we are going to just do the rest of the first round, see if. Uh, I don't think no one's going to be offering him for Bassey Pooley Army. Of course not. Um, so we are going with that seventh round, seventh overall pick in the second round. I am so tired, guys. I apologize. Um, so we are going up ahead early, like I said. Um, after the second round pick, I'm going to try and get uh, a qu quick trade in the works. Just look around quickly, um, think about it throughout the um, rest of the draft, and then I'll try and actually make a deal for Yessi Pugliarvi later on. So we have what I want in the perfect situation. There he is, Vitaly Kavanov. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, of course, if you guys know how to pronounce it, please put the proper pronunciation in the comment section below. Um, so Vitaly Kavanov, welcome to the Edmonton Oilers. So, there is one of the things I want to do in this video. Um, so we are going to now try for the trade. Um, I don't think there's much when it comes to right wingers. I want to go for actually. Let's try, let's try a left winger because I can put Dry Settle on the set on the right side. Technically, um, obviously, I'm not going to be getting like the. Johnny Goudreau, for example, that's a little bit too much. Um, Tavo Teravinen, I'm wondering, playmaker. I don't like pairing that. Um, it is tempting to look at, though, come if we need to think about making a deal. Um, we're not going to get ranting in, obviously. Um, Hubert, uh, I don't think there's much when it comes to bona fide Philip Ford, or even Eli Tolvid. I wonder. I wonder, would Nashville considering doing a flop, flip flop? Eli Tolvanen uh, was subject to trade rumors coming at this year's NHL trade deadline because he is one of the top prospects in the game. I'm wondering if they want to swap. I wonder. Let's try this out, guys. Let's try an Eli Tolvanen. Um, I knew there was rumors of him coming to Ottawa, which. Uh, I still don't talk about because I'm still a bit uh, upset about that. So this could technically work. Um, Tolvanen is a year younger, 20, I think 21. Yeah, so he's just a year younger, but that's okay. Obviously, I prefer to take the younger guy. Um, let's see what we can do on this end. I don't think they're going to take it straight up. Yeah, trade rejected. We may have to throw in a little something extra to get him. Um, I'm going to think about that one. Um, so, let's go to the third round. I don't think any, we're going to get any quest. Yeah, so we're not going to get any of that. Let's go for that goaltender. Uh, I need to remember I had him. There he is. Nope, that's not him. Levi, I have to... Another gem. Uh, no, I promise to take that goaltender. There he is. Um, Matthias Rakel. Um, like I said, he is. His stats are not the greatest. Um, I've always tried these GM modes to try and not go for these kind of things, but if they have the gem beside it, I am going to take that risk on it. Um, he is definitely taking up, going to take a bit higher than he's projected. So we're going to take that selection, and we are now going to have a prospect goaltender in our system. Um, so. Um. We are going to try and look for another trade quickly for the Yassi Um uh, Let's try just looking at forwards. Um, Patrick Line, I wish. Um, Kyle, Connor, I don't think our Ehlers would be the solution. 
Revolution. That just doesn't seem right for them to move, to make that kind of move. Um, no. No. Yeah, we can just go for one of these guys. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know what you guys, let me know down there. It's just random. Let me know if Mitch Marner has ever had a good simulation of your guys' uh, GM modes. I've had him in my one of my offline, and he literally was probably the worst idea to pick up through free agency. He maybe at most got 50 points for my team, and of course I had to do compensation, so I had to give up like the first and the third and all that. I personally think he's a great hockey player in real life, don't get me wrong, but I think person from watching him in... Uh, this in just NHL, he is probably the worst to simulate with. Um, moving, yeah. So the only thing I could think of for more would be, I know he's on, doesn't have a contract for next year. Jeff Skinner. I wonder how that would go. I know Ottawa would probably take that in a heartbeat. Guess he's probably already for Jeff Skinner. Um, I'd probably want something back in return that I know I could use, i.e. Drake Bathurst. It's not worth that much. He's worth more than that. Um, defenseman probably, I know the system well. <laughs> um, okay, so in this they've got like not much to work with. Um, yeah, there's not much to work with in this. Uh, probably a draft pick for next year because I know yeah, they've got not much. So we'll look at possibly uh, bringing Jeff Skinner in. I know he probably won't sign with Ottawa, so that's why I'm willing to take the risk on it. Um, so let's go up to our next, which would be in the sixth round, I believe. See if anybody offers us a trade. And uh, yeah, no one. So 28th overall. I have not thought about going down this far yet, so we're going to take a look if anything pops up. I don't think there's any gems left. There might be a bust or something. Not much. Uh, let's go for a defenseman. We don't haven't picked one up yet. Uh, he's dropped. A lot of them dropped, which is not what I like to see. Uh, we're gonna go. Actually, let's go with uh, Max Golod. I believe he pronounced his name. Uh, he's moved up five spots in the draft. Uh, I know that means not much to anybody, but uh, let's get the good. Let's get a Canadian guy on this draft selection. Um, I think what we're gonna do though, guys, for Yessi Puliarvi. Oh, I have another 6th round pick. I forgot about that one. Um, I'm going to go to free agency in this video. Um, and I'm going to gonna go with Barandon, I believe. Or should I go with Victor? Let's go with Victor Sanarva. Savara? Savarnov? Offensive defenseman. I would love to have an offensive defenseman. We don't have many of those on the team. Um, I'm probably going to go with Yessi Pugliar. We're going to go into free agency, and I'm probably going to make a trade throughout the summer with a team. Try and exercise that one. Um, oh, this last one I have no clue going to take. Uh, let's take... Uh, let's take it from the Flint Firebirds. Let's go with Connor Roberts. No clue, but we're going to take Connor Roberts. Um, and that looks like that is it for the rest of the draft. So not a bad first round. I mean, our first year draft, we only had six draft picks, so not much that I could, you could grade on that one, but we get Nolan Foot, and we get the other skip players we wanted. We get uh, Sabarov, I'm going to forget his name, and we got uh, Ekholm for the goaltender. So we got two of the players I wanted in these drafts. Um, so we're going to go up to... Uh, yeah, we're going to go up to resetting our state players. Uh, we have like a couple, I think. The Zingle wants, but I'm not going to say yes, we agree. So, the Zingle, thank you for your run with us, but unfortunately, we are going to have to say goodbye. Can I? S no, I can't yet with Nurse. Fanic does not want to come back. Unfortunately, that sucks, so we're going to have to say goodbye to him. I believe Kevin Grovel, depth defenseman. What does he want? Yeah, we'll take that. Simple little contract. Malone does not want to come back. Police. Uh, who's not happy? Benning. Okay. Not my concern right now. Uh, we'll sign some of the minor leaguers. So we have some people for the minors. Uh, Ryan Stanton. Vessel. Uh, Berglund. And I want to sign Foot, but I 
don't because I know he is technically still eligible for the CHL, so there is no point in playing him or signing him to a contract yet. I'd rather him develop down in uh, Kelowna, I believe he plays for. I am going to sign Kavanoff though because he was from overseas and we're going to put him into the minor system because that is how the, this, how the NHL works. You can... Uh, Sign, or when if they're not from the Canadian Hockey League, they can are eligible to play in the in your minor system. So Koskinen does not want to come back, and I agree we're not bringing Talbot back unless what is it? One? Okay, I'm gonna sign Talbot after I said I wouldn't. I know I'm a hypocrite right there, but we got a backup possibly for Tal as in Talbot, so we could still make a run for a goaltender. Um, obviously, I'd love to get. Like Bobrovsky on the team, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Kevin Gravel doesn't feel like he can. Okay, well, have fun, free agency. Um, everybody else seems to agree. Player morale, who is probably something left bomb. Trade away Adam Larson. Cogs business. Sometimes you have to make decisions that are tough. Did it? Oh, good. It. Uh, Boosted his morale a bit. Perfect. Um, so, we're going to go up to the free... Uh, Rob, okay. I'm not signing him. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got for free agents. Uh, Pavelski. Okay, and there we go. Skinner right there. Like I said, he is available. We only have 6.4. I am willing to go make a move right now to trade someone. And Jimmy Howard. I want to go after... Peter Morazic is cheap. We are signing Peter Morazic, guys. Um, former Ottawa 67. Um, I'm willing to go with the two goaltenders, both at 82. I have in my one offline, I have two of them, or two goaltenders, both 84, and they help a lot to move up for when it came to the playoffs they helped us perfectly get slotted into there so defenseman we are going to try and move someone right now we're gonna try and move scare so i have enough space for to bring in a skinner um obviously i want to make the right move and i'm probably just gonna get a draft pick out of them um so what does dallas have to offer for defense first connor carrick three million dollars cheaper i can sign he is a right-handed shot i think that's perfect I'm just trying to think. Right hands. Uh, I've got Larson traded. Uh, I think I could go with Connor Carrick on this one, actually. I'm gonna get Connor Carrick. Uh, young guy. Right handed shot, which is what I need. And we're gonna try and get. We're not gonna try. We are gonna get a third for next year. What if I, could I get a second, actually, for this year coming up? 2020? Let's try that. Let's try. So, Andrew Sakara. We're shutting off about $3 million, and we're getting a second as well, and Connor Carrick. Trade rejected. Okay, let's go scope for a third. I'm fine with the third for next year. Or, if, let's go with a sixth and a third. So, Sakaris for Carrick, a second, or a third and a sixth. Trade accepted. Perfect. So, we have the money. We're going to go uh, rebuilders. My, I don't think so. We are going to go sign Jeff Skinner. Um, Mark Stone will be great, but we're going to sign Jeff Skinner. Uh, we are going to go get some defense, one other defenseman. Um, I want to make competitive offers, so we're going to go seven million for seven years. I don't think I'm going to use him for all seven years, um, but then I'm going to look for, def for a defenseman to replace Larson. I know I've probably just shot myself in the foot a bit, but I'm willing to make those changes. I know I have a lot to work on defense. But, so I don't want to give up that. I am willing to give Pili Arby. We're going to keep that on the block. Pili Arby. Um, Jamares, like I said earlier. And I get rid of Russell. I already forget, guys. I am so tired. No, we're going to put Russell back on. Trade block. Um, so let's see if they accept our offers. I'm really hoping Morazic can... For sure. Yeah, perfect. Peter Morazic. So we got two perfect starting goaltenders. Um, definitely going to help us through the long run. I know Cam Talbot's not happy about that one, but just for the other one, no answer yet. This is what I hate. Rejected. Doesn't think that's the right way to go. More money might change his mind. I am not getting up a first and a fourth for Vatnin. Sorry. Um, 
that one hurt a bit. Uh, so Truba is available. But I know I have to give up first for him. I think I have to give up first, right? Yeah. I think I have to give up first or something along those draft lines. So you know what? I will try and make a trade right now. We're going to try and get uh, Truba because I don't want to give up too much for the assets. And I'm going to put Truba and... Platform will be our first line. So, just trying to think off the top of my head. I don't want to give up another defenseman. I don't have much to work with. Um, I want to risk the first for next year. But it's. Okay, I'll go up to second next year. Actually, that's still too not, not enough. Okay, we're going with the first for next year. Good starting block first. I did not sign uh, Raquel yet. Um, I don't have a lot <laughs> when it comes to that. Uh, Bacchus. Kirill Mas Maskimov. Maskimov, I don't know. Let's see if that works. Trade accepted. Okay, so we got Jacob Truba coming to the team instead. Um. Just trying to think for what we could do also. That's gonna save me about three million dollars left. I gave up two players into Zingle and Vanek to free Um just trying to think what else we could do for perfect Truba. Welcome to the team. I'm not trading Bear, I don't know why you guys think I'm giving up Bear. Um Talbot, I'm not sure why you chose to get I'm sorry. Look at competition. Uh, no impact. I'm here enjoying successful. I just randomly throw these out, guys. I don't really read them half the time. Um, this is a becoming a long video. So, what I'm thinking $4 million to spend. What also is available for a cheap asset? I don't want to give up too much. Zuccarello? Only $2.45 million? I'm gonna try and sign Zuccarello. Zuccarello, okay, if we're gonna try and get Matt Zuccarello on the team. I know that's gonna be not much room to work with for Cap, but like I said, I don't know why this, they want Bear so much. Um, okay, Zuccarello's on the team. That's actually perfect for what I wanna add. And then I wanna see if we can move Puliarvi right now, and that'll be the end of the video. Puliarvi, start up the next season. And. Start the whole first home game. We'll play the first home game in the next episode. Um, so I just want to see what teams are looking to give away. If it's on a so Jacob Jacob Silverberg already looking at that. That's a possibility. Senechev that's not that worth that. Um, I've seen him grow to an 85 and then drop the next right the year right after to an 80. Um, I won. I'm thinking of a one trade, but I know it's it's risky to take, and you guys will understand in a way when I go to look at it. Aston Reese, uh, classic, no, Kapanen, William Carlson. Okay, we're gonna try. What's his? Anthony Mantha. I'm gonna scout him quickly. I want just to get a overview of what he looks like for trade value. Um, I think Pugliari for Mantha would be something I want to do. Um, so as I scout quickly, they are in the Atlantic Division. Do I not have one? Central Metro Central. I have two Centrals. That's off. That's awkward. Um, what are you for NHL? Perfect. We're gonna move. Can I not move? Are you kidding me? I can't. No, oh, I never noticed that one. So I'm gonna have to go with my gut instinct here, guys. I'm gonna try and make the move for Mantha. I know this doesn't seem right on any part, but if you think about it, they have Zadina coming up. He is up right now. He's not looking good in his first year of making. Jokes because he's not in the NHL. Um, 
And Mantha, he's already, he's what, 24, and people haven't seen much out of him. I mean, now, slowly enough. So, we're gonna try Jessica Lee Arby, who we're, I'm sorry, we're giving up on already. And we're gonna try Anthony Mantha. That trade value is wrong already, I could tell. So, let's see if this would go through straight up. Trade accepted. So, that is my big off season move right there, guys. Um, welcome to the team, Anthony Mantha. And now it's moving on to next season. I'm just trying to think slowly if I can sign one more defenseman. Because if you think we single and Vanek we replace with Zuccarello, we got Mantha. I think wondering if I should go for one more forward. I have three million dollars to spend. These, of course, you're not signed. What else is new? Um, if I can get cheap, 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 cheap winger. Captain in. Captain in wants 1.6. I have to give up for a 1.6 guy. I. Okay, well, apparently I don't have to. I don't think he wants 1.6. Let's just see carefully because Captain would be a great one year. 1.6. This year's third round pick. Of course, the one I don't have. Ah. Uh, who has my pick? I want to go looking. Do I want to go looking for this, guys? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Mm. Nah, I forget who I traded it to. There it is. Oh, that's not that much value. That is not. That is not much. So we'll go with the six. We'll go with both sixes for it. Trade rejected. I know I'm just getting unrealistic a bit here, guys, but I am wanting that pick. Um, I'll go with the third. Dallas gave me. Trade rejected. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw in a six because I want to get that now. Captain would be great to have. I know I'm just picking up. This seems a little bit unrealistic to just make picks at this point, but if Captain is only one at 1.6 and he could be great for the third line, I am willing to do that. So 1.6. For one year in Toronto. Ball's in your court. Um, we are very close, tight for cap. Which scares me a little bit, but I believe we can still be a competitive team. Accepted. Okay, cool. He's there by not uh, keeping him. Please are not willing to match. Okay, so we are now got Kasperi Kapanen. Nope, we are not giving up Ethan Bear. I don't know what teams are thinking and thinking that I'm going to give up these players. Um, I just need to find a defenseman. It's not too much. Dan Girardi, 1.7. Yeah, let's bring in veteran Dan Girardi. Hopefully he'll say yes. I am already making this team a lot better than I thought. Okay, bye. Rejected. Cool. Um, nice. Thanks a lot. Can you put him down? Um, I only want a one year or two-year Joe Morrow. Let's go with Jordy Ben. Jordy Ben's a safe risk. He can play depth. He can be in my bottom six. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to say yes. Yeah, he said yes. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. This video is almost 40 minutes. Uh, no, decline. I'm not giving up Bear. I don't know why people still think of Ethan Bear's a sixth. Oh. Okay. Montreal wants to give me Paul Byron. Okay. Can I add the Chris Russell deal? Can I add the Chris Russell deal back? This would be a huge, huge move. Reject. They don't want to. They think it's not pointless. They think it's pointless. But if I retain. 15%. Except perfect. Oh my god, we got Paul Byron for a sixth and Chris Russell deal. Oh my. This team is looking. Robert Thomas. No. This team's looking a bit different on offense than I thought. Um, we are going to go up to the preseason. We are going to simulate the preseason quickly just so we can take a. No, we're actually not. We're going to go up. We're going to get the lines ready and then we'll do that in the next episode apologetic for this long 
long, long episode. Um, so we're going to do this quickly and I will say my goodbyes right now. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, as you know, this is different than what I expected for a team that I was ex I was expecting something else and I got even better with adding Paul Byron to the team um, and Zuccarello. So going forward for next year, I think uh, we could possibly be, be a huge contender. Do I have enough money? I do have enough money. Okay. Um, I think I have enough. I think our team is good enough to uh, compete for a decent playoff spot. And I definitely think we're going to be a competitive team come the trade deadline uh, and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, you will just uh, way out. You're just going to watch me finish editing these lines. Um, you guys have a great day, obviously. Of course, I expect you guys. I want you guys to have a great day. Uh, and we will start the episode next episode in year two with the Edmonton Oilers. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Drop comments on what you want to see moving forward for this year. And um, yeah, have a check out our Facebook and Instagram page too. Like I said, it's been long days. I'm tired as hell. You guys take care, and I will see you in year two with your Edmonton Oilers.